So can you, can you tell me a story of a big failure you've had and the lesson you learned from it? Man, if, 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 there's so many failures in my life. I can say that honestly. And if I had to choose one of the most recent ones that had led me to become a better person, it's definitely that, that working for the blue Jays, man, that weekend, just, I remember her just reaming me out and feeling so crappy. Like I remember being in the bathroom and well, there's a guy next to me taking a, a dump and I'm smelling. It. I'm like, God, this smells <laughs> terrible. I'm like crying under my breath. Like, cause I try to use the, 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 toilet paper to blow my nose out i'm like why am i being weak why am i letting someone else like take control of me and what that helped me learn is one be prepared always be prepared that's what that taught me because had i had everything ready but i i didn't know what i needed so asking the right questions is is something i've i always try to better myself at because i've even looked up books on how to ask better questions because I think if we can ask better questions, we can get better results. I feel like we 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 always have the surface level question. We don't get deep into it. So if I would have asked her better questions, had I been prepared, I feel like I would have been much better suited for that conversation. And I can tell you from that moment on, heck, I had cutouts, presentations on a, a USB, on a computer, on someone else's USB, emailed to me. So that way I knew there was no way if anything happened, I was ready to go. If the computer crashed, I was ready to do it because she also said to me, Tony, you work in sports. In games, we were lucky enough to have a lot of facilities. But here at the Blue Jays, if it rains, you're in charge of a nutrition session and you need to be ready to go on the dime. So Mm -hmm. I study those things forwards and backwards because if it was raining, all right, guys, all the outdoor work today, we're going to be pausing until it stops raining. So we're going to do a nutrition session. We're going to do a mental performance session. And Tony, you have about 10 minutes to get it prepared. And I had to be ready to go. So I had a binder with all the cutouts ready. If I had anything that I needed to show, so it helped me be prepared. And it also helped me ask questions. I said, where am I doing it? What equipment do I have? And who's going to be my audience? Being like, is it going to be the major leaguers? Is it going to be minor leaguers that are just coming in? Is it minor leaguers that have been in the system for a while? Right? Because they all have different preconceived notions and questions about it. And Being able to ask questions, leave it as an open forum. Because even when I give presentations, Justin, I hate when I give a presentation and it's just a PowerPoint. I personally don't like those. Those are just really boring. I feel like no one's giving me value. So every time I give a presentation, I'm like, all right, here's some PowerPoint stuff. But I want to ask you a question. Everyone here, what is one thing you have a question about in regards to, let's say, X topic? Right? So, for example, let's with those guys, I'd be like, hey, who here is taking a supplement? Uh, Raise your hand. Great. What supplements do you like to use? Boom, boom, boom. Awesome. So let's talk about those because you're probably not the only one here that has it. Versus yeah. just going straight off the PowerPoint because that's not going to help the, the athlete learn or be applicable. And so you have to be fully prepared. Like what you're talking about, in order to do that, in order to put it out there and say, tell me your questions, you have to be overly prepared because you could get a question that you maybe didn't think through. Or how, how do you how do you prepare for something that you don't know is coming? I would just make sure I was up on my research and asking questions all the time to the guys. Like if I saw guys in the hallway, Hey man, what's going on? How are things going? Da-da-da. And I would hear what their common mm. um, disgruntles are or challenges and find a way. Is there something nutrition can do? But the one thing I also learned from my mentor, she told me one thing she learned from uh, uh, an interview she did was she went to do an interview at a school and there was a strength conditioning coach there. And he asked her a question. This was in a, a group interview. So it was five or six people. And she said, I don't know, but I'll get back to you by looking up this question. And that was the first question he asked. That strength coach got up from the interview and left. And she thought she messed up. But he was so impressed that she said she didn't know. That's all he needed. So if I don't know something or I didn't know something, I would be open with the guys. Be like, hey, it's something I don't know, but I will get back to you. And if that was done in front of a crowd of them, I'd rather them be like, wow, he's honest. And if I lose a little credibility because I don't know it, I'd rather lose that credibility and give them the right answer versus giving someone the wrong answer. And it's a very humbling experience because, for example, um, I remember a strength coach asked me this in front of a group of of players. And I'm like, why would you ask me that? Hey, this new research paper came out on BCAAs and it says BCAAs are garbage. What do you think, Tony? Dude, you're going to throw me under the bus like that? I was like, well, unfortunately, I haven't read the paper. So if you go ahead and send me that paper, I'll give you my uh, my feedback on it. But for right now, here are what are my initial thoughts are on BCAAs. But once I read the paper, I'll be able to give you a better answer, right? But it's just like sometimes they would th- throw curveballs yeah. at you to see how you would answer. 
And yeah. if I don't know the answer, I had to be humble enough to say, you know what? I don't know. And it's tough to say, right? Especially being uh, a male in a male dominated sport and having to say, I don't know. Yeah. It takes, it takes, a, I think, a lot more cojones to say that than, than try to BS them. Because yeah. when you try to BS someone, they know. They know. Because sure. you're just over explaining, trying to get through it versus just being honest, be like, you know what? I don't know. And I'll get back to you. 